on the end of a dead-end street in a very prominent neighborhood sits an abandoned mansion. A colonial-style home built in the 1930s for the former mayor of the town and his wife. But not only was he the mayor, he was also an orthopedic surgeon and sadly in the year 1999 he passed away and his wife had left the home abandoned to be closer to her children. The entire property is estimated to be worth around 3.2 million dollars but unfortunately the home will need to be demolished. Let's see what's left behind. It's Big Banks, we're back again for another video. Today, we are exploring an abandoned mansion again with a pool. I've got my friend over here, Slipknot Lover. Go check her out on Instagram. But we are going to explore this mansion today. Uh, before we go inside, I want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, it was owned by a doctor who's also a mayor of this city. But everything is left behind in here. And it's been abandoned for, you know, at least 10 years. And it's super overgrown. Some of the floors are a little bad, but it's full of antiques. Everything's in it. And you guys are going to be in for a treat today. So, we're in the backyard right now. Awesome pool. Got a hot tub right over there. And, you know, just this beautiful mansion. So, like I said, this pool, nice pool. Looks like there was a cover on it, but obviously nature took that over. It's even got a diving board. And then you got the house. And this is all super overgrown. And it seems like the neighborhood it's in is extremely rich. Like, there's a mansion right over here. It's not abandoned but it is like 30 plus million dollars. And then you got this one. It's like kind of just an eyesore sitting out here. So, we're gonna go inside this mansion today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's, uh, let's go inside, hope you guys enjoy. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm starting you off at the front door. Look at this staircase. So we walk in here. Everything is left behind. But we're gonna just start right here, see what we can see. So, you got a double door when you first walk in. Like Chinese themed wallpaper. And these really beautiful floors. Right here, oh my gosh, look at this mirror. That is insane. That's just a little store space right there. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is the dining room. It's still set up. Stuff's kind of rummaged through, but this is crazy. There's a beautiful chandelier in here. Just stuff all over. Look at the chandelier though. That's really nice. I'm trying to see the type of stuff that's left in here. Just a lot of personal items. It looks like they were Jewish, because there's uh, the Star of David and everything.
All of this is so antique. Oh my gosh, like look at like the, the top. It's like some type of granite. Wow. Pretty amazing stuff in here. Like the wallpaper, like I love houses with wallpaper like this. Straight out of there, we have, here's the kitchen. Look at this wood. It's like a burnt wood almost. Wow. But this is the kitchen of this home. And there's another you know, dining room table right here. This is 1939. I know this paper is not from 1939. On March 12th, 1938. Dang, I can't even read it. This kitchen is really nice. It's a lot of wood. I think it's all china in here. Yeah, this is a very nice kitchen. You have the vintage stove, oven right here. This really nice lamp. I mean, this kitchen, you know, it's old. It's old style and I, you know, I'm not mad about it. I like it. I like it a lot. This is like gold, what the heck? That's crazy. You got the stove. This like old antique thing right here. Man. Here in the kitchen you get some nice stuff. All pretty nice. Sucks on the flooring coming out but like and then the chandelier was hanging up here but look at it it's like the design is kind of weird a lot different so that is the kitchen and this must have been like some type of little pantry area for the kitchen there's so many spiders to my left from the kitchen. This is where, this is like the main living room. This is like a den. This is where they would have hung out, watched TV, drank. Cause there's a bar right here too. Crazy, it's all left here. Have you walked down here? What? On this floor yet? No, I gotta walk down to it. I just wanna make sure it's... I don't know if it's good or not. So this is the bar area. I get worried about floors like this. But look at this. You can tell it's been a long time since somebody's lived here. Because all this stuff is so old. Oh wow, look at that. Amazing. Some of this alcohol is still full too. This was like the den. Has nice ceilings, nice furniture. 
then you have your you know your balcony right here that's so overgrown and I can already tell that that's dangerous to walk on I'm almost scared to walk on this floor but I'm gonna get off of this so I don't fall through down to the basement <laughs> that would be fun <laughs> That would be a... Let's uh, drop into the bar. That'd be a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bar. <laughs> that'd be a mission to get me out. Oh, look, you're on your own. You're on five foot. <laughs> <laughs> so back at the staircase, back at the first front door. And to my left right here, we have a closet that's full of clothes. And these are nice clothes too. But you can tell it's kind of elderly woman clothing. Some ties up there. Like this is this saw the tag on it. Thirty-eight dollars. Dang. See the paint, like the wallpaper peeling off and everything. And right in here we have a formal living room. And we've got these pink couches still in here. And the wallpaper is a blue color. Oh, the TV's still here. Yeah, you can tell that's old. <laughs> old Sony box TV. Wow. And guys, like I said in the beginning, the guy that owned this, he was a doctor and he also was the mayor of this town. So that's crazy. I really love these couches too. Like the pink floral. Really nice in my opinion. And then there's also like this golden like dresser over there. So I'll show you guys more in detail here in a minute, but I'm gonna walk this way. This floor is a little bit sketchy. Come into this room, which must have been like an office or something that's small, you know, it's a small room. All these doors are here. There's nothing in them. I'm not sure what this was for. Who knows? Got this really cool like wallpaper, this is like floral. It's got like uh, roses on it. And I think over here is an office. I think this is the office right over here, just by peeking through. But here is that dresser I was talking about. That is super nice. And this was probably the mirror that went on it. Yep, this was the office. That is a matter of fact. That is, this is the office. All of these papers are scattered everywhere. This way from the main entrance. Okay. 
in this little area to a bathroom. Oh, it's a really nice bathroom too. It's all blue and gold. Really nice details and everything. Like especially like in the sink right here. Wallpaper's peeling. More floor wallpaper. I love I love when houses do this. Every other like room is a different type of wallpaper, different color type thing. Love it. And then we got another upstairs area. So this is like a three level type house. So did you did you say be careful on one of these stairs? Yeah. It's like the second one. Second one? Okay, I'll just skip that one out. So up here, it almost looks like it's a little bit gutted. Which, yeah, kind of is. Dang. Looks like it's been stripped. Just a little bit. But there's still like clothes and stuff up here. Ah, this was the master bedroom. Right here, look at this bed frame that's here. graffiti I didn't realize that dang that's crazy but yeah this would have been the main bedroom like this when you look up you see deer and birds different things different wildlife kind of sleep good at night with that right floor is a little bit squishy. Gotta be careful. So many clothes up behind, but then right here, the floor is still here. And there is, this is like the counter for the bathroom. And that's the closet that goes all the way in there, which we'll go in there in a second. But here's the main bathroom right here. So whoever, what kind of, whatever vandal came in here, just just vandalized up here. But they probably are the ones that rummaged through everything too. So this house was probably completely untouched at one point, and then you know a vandal came in, kind of did their way with it. And through here we have the walk-in closet which is really large, a lot of stuff in it. We got, you know, the sheets, the, the, the stuff for the bed, clothes, really nice jackets, fur coats. Like these people were rich, these people had money, for sure. I mean, to live in a mansion for one, it's one thing. This floor is like leaning, and that goes up to the attic. There's so many clothes. It's crazy how many clothes are here and how much stuff is just left behind. More of the closet thing. This closet goes all the way down here. Yeah, the closet goes all the way around this. That is nuts. That's a huge closet. This floor does not feel very good. Hey guys, you gotta understand, I gotta be safe in these places. I could get seriously hurt just doing this. Here 
here's just another bathroom. Oh, I love the wallpaper in here. Like a plaid blue. Love that. That's dope. And then we have another bathroom. So there's a lot of bathrooms, and this one's like a red plaid. That's awesome. And like the sinks are red too. Got a couple of rooms right over here. So we're gonna go into each one. So this is our first room. And a lot of furniture, a lot of uh, like cabinets, uh, dressers, a desk right there, some antiques all left in here. Oh, we got we got a Playboy magazine. Nice. Um, the wallpaper in here is a little trippy. Hey, look at that. But we got magazines. I mean, look at this like furniture. Like the detail that they got with all this stuff is phenomenal. I love it. It looks like, I mean, there was some type of flooring throughout, but it's all been, you know, ripped up. Here we have a pretty nice desk with these old lamps, which are really nice. We have a bigger bedroom right here, and this has a bed in it. But look at all this stuff. It's kind of hard to just like look at everything that's in here. And even the ceiling is just like peeling down. But this wasn't the master. The master's on the other side. But this is a big bedroom. And the bed frame is really nice. It's really classical looking. You know, even got, you know, a cheetah print. Or that might be giraffe. Giraffe print. Um, like spring. That's crazy. There's just so much stuff, it's kind of hard to get around. Like, what do you do, you know? Really nice dresser. Like, these people had good taste, I feel like. And then we have one more bedroom here, and then we gotta go downstairs. Yeah, this one's empty. I mean, not empty, but you know, kind of trashed and things like that guys we're going to go downstairs to the basement um, there's a bar down there and there's a lot of really cool antiques I want to show you guys like really 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 nice antiques so we're gonna go down there and everything so I hope you guys are enjoying this video if you are hit the subscribe button and let's continue to explore this abandoned house guys I found a whole nother part of this house that I didn't even know was here I mean it's really just this bedroom right here but it is clean and it is nice. Like, it's the same wallpaper from top to bottom. This nice little bed. The floors almost feels like a squatter stays here. These floors are not dusty. It's weird. The rest of the house is like totally like messed up, but this room is like clean. Unless somebody came and set it up. But there's nothing in the drawers, so it's a little weird. But this, this room is nice. I mean, look at this mirror. And it's on closet and everything. I can't believe I almost missed this room. All right, well, let's go downstairs and let's see what we can find. Okay, guys, so now we're in the basement. And it is all super creepy down here. First thing is we got a vintage typewriter and there's a lot of antiques down here that you guys are going to see once we go in that room right here, but it's like all wood paneling everywhere. See the moment we walk in here, there's a huge chest and like this is like a vintage 
chest right here with an old piano, which is obviously just falling apart and I would never be able to play again. Some crazy artwork, like, and then, like, look at this freaking lamp right here. Looks like the dude from Polar Express. <laughs> But down here is like a bar, den, hangout area. Couches are still here. What is that? A Viewmaster. Oh, a Viewmaster. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Some cool stuff down here. Right through here is the actual bar. So this would have all been seating over here with your marble table. What would you say the style of homeless is? Colonial? Uh, oh, no, to be honest. <laughs> Judging uh, by the probably, outside. Probably, yeah, by the outside. I think it's colonial. Look at the top. They still have the cups hanging. Oh, that's so <laughs> sick. What? Little bar chairs and all. It's so moldy down here. Yeah. It's, this is like classical it's stuff. Yeah, it gets worse over here. I gotta take a look at some of these antiques over here on this side. Oh yeah. Like a little bed over there too. Yeah, I see it. And like a wheelchair. Yeah. There's two beds. Well, yeah, there's two beds. <laughs> Yo, what look at this stuff. Like a little French oh, is that horn. A TV built into it? Look at it. That's a TV built into the Oh wow. Into the whole thing. That's so sick. <laughs> it's so falling apart though. I know. Oh. You see it? <laughs> Oh, look at this. These are coin things. Have you seen these before? Where? You put coins in these and they do special tricks. Yeah, I saw that. That's so cool. No way. These are old, like, comic strips. Old comic strips? Yeah, look. I can't... There's so many spiders, but, like... There's old comics over here, too. That's so cool. Wow. This whole bottom part is just... He was really into trains. Insane. Don't cross track, kids. What does it say over here? Don't cross track. Good luck. Oh, it's like from newspapers yeah. and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. These are just little beds. This just got really cool. <laughs> yeah. Basically got a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> The beds in here is a bit weird, but... <laughs> and the wheelchair. The wheelchair is, like, not that old. It don't look like it. Yo, is that a political chair? A political... Look at the chair design. Yo, no way, yeah. it is. See it? Democratic and Republican. Yeah, I'm <laughs> no just way. looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's super cool. He's really into because, look, there's, there's... We got JFK right here. And now oh, George Washington right yeah. here. <laughs> So very political people. Yeah. There's an Atari. An Atari? Look. Oh my <laughs> god. Whoa. Hold up. That's like the box. That's the old box. Yeah. Man, it sucks that it's got oh, mold all so on it. Mold. That sucks. <sighs> That'd be worth money. That's cool though. <laughs> and you got this little like this little gun here. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the heck? This, 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 this. Ooh, nothing. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's going to I thought it would have. <laughs> this like is the crazy. Wow, I mean, look at this. Do you realize it's a drum? That, that tape that it's on? It's not a table, it's a drum. That's a drum? Like an old oh, drum. Oh, I see it now, I see it now. That's crazy. I just realized that. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. This guy really loved his history. Yeah. This is an amazing house. We actually get out of here. I wanted to, guys to show you guys the front. These huge pillars. Super cool light up here. But I want to give you a little look at the front of this place. It is absolutely amazing. I want to say this is like colonial style. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I am not a architectural genius. I just, you know, I want to learn what I can. So if you guys can help me out a little bit, let me know in the comments. But I do think this is like colonial revival something like that but yeah
love this place it's beautiful full of everything so we're gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah again check out slipknot lover right here yes please and i got my really good friend drew in the car follow him on twitter and yeah i'll leave all their stuff in the description but we're gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful mansion just as much as i did and yeah till next time big banks out <laughs>